what's up everybody in the ratio welcoming you back into another video where today i have got my hands on all brand new huawei gt2 pro smart watch which come with the 1.39 inch amoled hd display come with the two weeks of battery life built-in gps and gold nas spo2 reading record as well as 100 plus working out modes but that's not it list of features never ends in here come with the bluetooth calling feature heart rate monitor which is 24 hours as well and on top of it everything is the mind-boggling design and honestly speaking this has only been possible with the both design and the performance now from the design side the front glass is a sapphire which is a less prone towards a normal wear and tear scratches the body is full made of titanium and the back which is made of ceramic which is less irritating if it's compared with any other smart watches i have reviewed in the past come with the powerful battery life and the wireless charging which is very efficient as well with the charge of only five minutes can give you output of 10 hours not that bad at all and a full charge of battery will last you up to two weeks weighs around 52 grams without stripes come in two color night black and a nebula gray with a fantastic 1.39 inch amoled display with the resolution of a 454 by 454 with side to side gesture selection as well let's not forget about the water resistant it is 5 ATM water resistance rated. In my video reviews, I tend to go extra mile showing each and everything about the product I am reviewing. Looking into what included within the packaging, all the features which I have mentioned, demonstrating each and every point about the smartwatch. So by the end of the video, user having a clue that what he's getting into. Now, if I forgot or missed anything in the video, please let me know anytime in the comment section down below as well. So let's not waste too much of time and straight away jump into that what is included within the packaging. Now inside the packaging you get one user manual, one warranty card, one USB-C type charging cable, one wireless charger cradle and in last but not least Huawei GT2 Pro smart watch. Come with the very soft and comforting wrist stripes which are interchangeable, very elegant and durable titanium design with only two physical contact buttons top button to launch all the menus and the bottom and the back of smartwatch which is ceramic with the latest sensor built in overall from the design side i'm 110 percent satisfied with the build quality no doubt whatsoever huawei had put a really good effort into it process of pairing smartwatch with your mobile phone is easy and straightforward power up your smartwatch and download Huawei Health application which is available for Android as well as for iOS users. Within Huawei Health application, click onto the Devices tab and click Add. Select a smartwatch tab in here and click on Huawei Watch GT2 series. Wait for the device search completed and within the search result you should be able to locate Huawei GT2 Pro Watch available. Click on it to pair. Once successfully paired, you're going to get the notification on your smartwatch and make sure to select the auto update. Now watch is fully configured and good to go. Now this tiny operating system made by Huawei is pretty much easy and straightforward to work with. From the home screen by scrolling from left to right, you can go into the predefined options and you can tweak them as well that which plate what you wanted to see. Let's suppose on the first plate you have a main watch face following with the heart rate stress level test, weather information, music application where you can set to play the music on the smart watch or on your earbuds or any Bluetooth available device and the static sticks of your running. And from the main watch face by scrolling from top to bottom you can have an access for the quick and shortcut menu where you're going to have an access for do not disturb, screen on, find your mobile phone by press of one button. Here. or you can set an alarm access your settings as well as looking into that what is the battery life left and the date as well now by scrolling from bottom to top you're going to access what notifications you have and you can clear them by touch of a one button as well 
by clicking on clearing the notification that doesn't mean the notification is gone away from your mobile phone you still have to read that now changing watch face of your smartwatch is easy and straightforward press as a hold on the watch face which you have selected and go through the list which you have already downloaded and in terms of choice of watch faces we are talking about hundreds of them to be honest with you by using the huawei health application you can keep downloading as many as you want now on smartwatch we have a two button side to side the top one which is for accessing all the predefined applications and the down button which is a programmable to launch sport activity now within the availability of the predefined applications you have options for the working out working out records working out statistics heart rate sensor spo2 activity records sleep monitor stress test breathing exercise call log contact information music remote shutter for your camera air pressure to know that what is the altitude you are standing on to application for your compass notification whatever comes from your mobile phone weather application showing you the current weather of your location along with more details like that how will be the weather in the next coming days as well next tab you have is for the sport watch timer alarms torch which will lit up the whole display for you to work on to by press of a one button you can again go out of it find your mobile phone settings of your smart watch and these two new application which you can install yourself actually huawei is going into this kind of a not completely predefined application but you can install as well that kind of a thing is under development but guys stick to it you're going to see some more changes in future for sure now within the tab for the settings you can have an access for earbuds display settings in terms of it that what watch faces you wanted or you would like to see any always on display face at this moment of time it's got selected none you can have a predefined one which are colored one starting with this digital space light elegant analog digital highlight light speed and that is very much obvious that if you're going to use always on display your battery life will go half for sure now next tab you have is the favorite which defines the main display on your smart watch where you've seen your watch face the first one was the heart rate you can tweak it how you want it or if you would like to add more into it as well but press up a one button that i would like to record my sleeping data or by going into any other ones these are all predefined guys you can tweak them add them up and down as well if you want to brightness control which is also set to an auto or you can have a preset if you want to auto what i meant by that but when you go indoor or outdoor it automatically adjusts the brightness of your display to make sure it's a pleasurable and watchable most of the times advanced settings of your smart watch where you're going to see the option for auto sleep pattern or screen on for the five minutes plus as well now after display settings you have an option for sound settings too where you can control the volume of your smart watch or press the silent if you want to selection of the vibration of your smart watch option for the do not disturb or a down button programming this is the down button which i mentioned earlier to you guys that by going in here you can select what you want by default this down button is selected to launch workout regime but you can have a selection from all these options available in here whatever you want to do, do yourself now after down button you have a tab which is for the workout settings that i would you like to do auto detection of workout or not you can select it on and off when you're walking for a very long time it automatically records you're walking for a long time outdoors or indoors as well the second option you have after that is, is a one hop which is a, using the nfc actually if you got a huawei mobile phone you can actually download information into your smart watch by using this one hop tab then you have the option for the system where it will help you to restart your smart watch power up or restore it to the factory default settings following with the about about your smart watch well we have checked out the graphical user interface of smartwatch and what is offered in there now it is very important to check out huawei health application which is very user friendly and straightforward to work with as well 
right on the home screen you're going to see that how many steps you have taken calories you have burned and distance you have traveled along with the exercise record how's your heart rate doing sleeping pattern weight and spo2 stress level is also available in here and you can edit this whole home screen at your own choice by click of a one button simple is that next tab you have is for the exercise you can launch an exercise from your mobile phone using the health application or from the smartwatch which i have shown you before select the exercise you wanted to go for click onto the play button you can stop the exercise from your smartwatch or from your smartphone as well workout paused now the next tab you have is the discover where you will be doing some events actually guys you can do whatever events are coming up to you next tab you have is a device this is all about your smartwatch which is paired with the, your smartphone you can simply go into the smartwatch where you can see that how long your smartwatch has been connected with your mobile phone and what is the battery life on it how many calories you have burned today and distance you travel what watch faces you wanted to download into it and what you have already available for you to go for here are the recommended ones which you need to pay for actually guys some of them are you need to pay for and the free ones are available as well which are in hundreds to be honest with you and i'm sure you're going to find the one which suit your taste as well now the next tab you have is a health monitor which is all to do with what option you would like to turn on and off and the help option music tab is also there to help you to download music into your smartwatch and play on the speaker of smartwatch or on earbuds connected with it application tab is also available which is kind of a new on huawei health application before when i bought this watch it was only two applications which i installed and now the third one is available which is a math train it's kind of a gaming application, guys sooner you're going to see more application coming on for the smartwatch as well now after apps the next step we have is alarm you can set an alarm on your smartwatch from mobile phone or look into the weather then we have an option for favorite contact here you can add 10 contacts which you can access within your smartwatch contact area right in here to contact them straight away option to enable and disable the notification which you are getting on your smartwatch or what application you wanted to get notification from you can select or deselect the application you don't want it to get notification from as well as a huge list available in here for you to go through next tab we have is a me here you can create your own profile where you can see your monthly and weekly reports achievements and the data within the settings of your account you have got some extra options like synchronizing your data with the huawei health application or furthermore into it you can actually share or get linking actually kind of a thing sharing your data with other accounts like your google fit my fitness pal or health kit now to launch any workout you can simply press this down button which is preset or by going into the all application and looking into the workout here you can select a lot of workout regimes all together within the smartwatch you have got more than 100s available you can just simply select it which one you would like to go for and walk for it simple is that let's suppose i wanted to run within the indoors for the treadmill as soon as I click on it, now it knows that we are working indoors. It will automatically record your heart rate and a pedometer readings straight away and record everything in here. And while you're working out, scrolling from right to left, you can have an access for the music as well, where you can pair up your earbuds with your smartwatch and enjoy the music on it, or just simply play it right on the speaker of your smartwatch too. And the maximum volume you're going to get on your smartwatch. And to load more music in your smartwatch, you will be using Huawei Health application, where within the devices tab, should be able to locate music folder in here, and click onto the manage music, where you just need to click onto the add songs, and select from your device as well select which music you wanted to download straight into your smartwatch 
let's suppose I wanted to download this Sultan music I just need to click on the top button right in here and there we go download it started there we go now music is available on your smartwatch and off it goes simple as that now to pair any audio device with your smartwatch for playing music on it is easy and straightforward by simply first accessing the settings of your smartwatch within the settings of your smartwatch the first tab you're going to see is for the bluetooth earbuds by going in here it will be searching for that device now you need to make sure whatever earbuds or any bluetooth device you wanted to pair with your smartwatch are in the pairing mode and here we go once they are in a pairing mode available in here click on them from the list on there and once they are successfully paired you're going to see them all corrected press ok on it and that's it guys now you are connected now whatever music you play on your smartwatch will be coming through these earbuds now let's check out how we are getting the mobile phone notification most of the time it works great whatever notification comes up on your mobile phone and it is pretty much quick as well and you're only going to see the notification when you turn your smartwatch towards your side now in terms of replying back onto the message you cannot do it at all and you also never get any emails back on your smartwatch as well and for getting mobile phone call notification it actually works and you're also going to see the caller id too and you can use your smartwatch as a hand free as well to attend the call and also talk on it as well volume sounds everything is pretty much clear to be honest with you and for the call you cannot actually use the connected earbuds earbuds are only good to use to play music that's about it now within smartwatch we have a multiple sensors available for measuring your heart rate oxygen saturation level and to confirm that the reading which we are getting from the heart rate are legit we're going to compare it with the calibrated oximeter which is very simple and straightforward to use and the readings is updates in two seconds as well smartwatch we are getting 92 pulses and on oximeter about 89 while well, one pulse here and there is fine as you can see that is updating very quickly as well and now for spo2 we can just need to measure it it will take a little longer than a heart rate while well, on smartwatch we are getting 98 percent of spo2 which is reasonable and on oximeter 97 pretty much comparable with the smartwatch now on top of heart rate spo2 sensor within the smartwatch you get also extra sensors like air pressure help you very much when you are hiking actually guess the real time air pressure 1000 millibar is a very normal at the moment of time if you scroll down onto it you're going to see the meters actually which is a height of yours itself from above the sea level you can actually measure it or you can actually go into the settings as well where you get the warning as well that in case you are in a really bad situation next one you have is a compass which is a real time and it will tell you which direction you are going into again it's a very handy tool while you are hiking well now for the water rating smartwatch is rated for the 580 m so if you are a scooby diver or anything like that you can use it as well no problem whatsoever and if we go into the workout you have got the option available for open water as well as the swimming pool option simply launch these workouts where you can also specify the length of your swimming pool and everything and off you go but for me i'm not really a swimmer at all guys major thing which i've been doing with this smart watch is washing my hands which as usual as well as taking shower with it as well no problem so far at all it's been two weeks i've been dunking it into the water still ticking well for me well here i am in the end of this video and i try to show each and everything a user should know about this all new huawei gt2 pro smart watch and if you think i have missed anything please let me know in a comment section down below i would be happy to help you with it as well now from my side i would highly recommend this smartwatch to be honest with you if it's compared with the price and the quality you are get this smartwatch if it's on your wrist is gonna look fantastic small wrist or the big wrist doesn't mean anything for this smartwatch the top sapphire glass you cannot find it any smartwatch i have reviewed at this moment of time titanium body 
back with the ceramic now this is a black color i have bought you can go for the nebula gray as well which is fantastic too now that will be completely all from my side guys thank you again for watching this video and do let me know again if you got any questions about the smartwatch my recommendation for the smartwatch is 100% guys buy it if you're looking for one